So let's take drives and solar panels. What did they have in common, you may ask? Let us take you on a journey, journey and find out. out. So modern engineers design storage bases that can store billions of bits of data in a very small space using what's called a charge trap flash cells that measures the amount of electrons that are stored in them to determine the binary value it has. This is how they look like. The cells also use quantum physics to clear its content. Quantum tunneling occurs in these tiny cells to create an electron probability cloud that will make said electrons to have a chance of propagating through the physical barrier. Think of it like a board jumping over a very tall wall. On the other hand, solar panels use a different part of quantum physics to operate. They use something called the photoelectric effect discovered by Albert Einstein and Max Planck in 1905 that made them win the Nobel Prize. It works when photons from a light source transfer energy to a photosensitive material to release excited electrons and create an electrical current. The ideas behind light change throughout the years, experiencing both wave and particle-like behavior. It is truly unique. It used to be thought light is a continuous source of energy, while it was discovered that it's made out of a stream of discrete packets of energy called the photons. In conclusion, quantum mechanics has shaped our current technology ever since it was discovered. Now you know how solid state drives and solar panels link to one another. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much for watching! watching.